Chris Eubank Jr. makes his long-awaited return. Actually, can I say that? Long-awaited? Well, I'm looking for it. No, in fact, I will say long-awaited because even the people who hate Chris Eubank Jr. with a passion are going to be tuning in to watch. Yeah, he's one of them kind of fighters, whether you love him or hate him, you still watch him. So let me start that from the top. Chris Eubank Jr. makes his long-awaited return to the ring on the George Groves Callum Smith undercard in Saudi Arabia on September 28th. And he'll be taking on this man, JJ McDonough. Now, some of you may remember that McDonough ended the, at the time, seven fight unbeaten streak of light heavyweight prospect Jake Ball a couple of years back. And this is the video right there. Somebody has uploaded it on their YouTube channel, nothing to do with mine. Don't know why they turned the, the color up so high. <laughs> Maybe it's to get away with out catching a copyright strike. I don't know. But some of you may remember this fight. McDonough came out swinging and he took Jake Ball out in one round, knocked him out cold in a pretty spectacular destruction. And if that fight is anything to go by, McDonough is a very, very game customer indeed. Now, interestingly, if you watch this interview with McDonough, he says he sparred Eubank. And this was a few years ago. He sparred him. So the two fighters are somewhat familiar. He is a six foot two inch southpaw. His record doesn't have too many KOs on there. He's only got a 40% KO ratio, although it's a 50% KO ratio if you're talking about fights he's won. 32 years old, from Ireland, Southpaw, as I say, 6'2". I've only ever seen him once, and that was the Jake Ball fight. He was game in that fight. He appeared he had a very good right hook, very aggressive the way he came out. If you look at his record, there's nothing spectacular on there. And he's actually boxed around the world. He's boxed in Canada here, where he lost the decision a couple of years ago. He, he's boxed in prize fighter, actually. When was it here? Yeah. Eamon O'Kane, he lost the, uh, he lost the prize fighter fight against Eamon O'Kane back in 2012. And his weight has fluctuated a lot, JJ McDonough. If you see him in the Jake Ball fight, he looks like a pretty big guy. But you look at his record, he turned pro at light heavyweight. And then a couple fights later, he was down at middleweight. And then his weight has fluctuated throughout since. You know, he was 160 for this period through 2012. And in 2013, he's back at light heavyweight again. Then he's back down at super middleweight in 2014. Then he's light heavyweight in 2015. Super middleweight later on in 2015. He's back down again, the light heavyweight against Jake Ball. And then his last three fights, I want to say, were at middleweight. Certainly the one in January was at middleweight. But his last two, you could say they were super middleweight. They were certainly over the middleweight limit, but they were not quite at a super middleweight limit. So he's fluctuated massively in weight throughout his career. That, you would imagine, could either be a lack of discipline, getting out of shape all the time. And he certainly said that he was out of shape going into the Jake Ball fight. He said he only trained a couple of weeks for that. So it could be a lack of discipline, but it could also be necessity. You know, he is a blue collar fighter and they often have to take opportunities wherever they can get them. And sometimes that involves going up or down a weight division or two. So perhaps that's the reason why he's fluctuated in weight so much. I don't know. I'll leave that for you, you know, leave that to you guys to speculate or maybe enlighten me on. Maybe there are some of you who know a lot about the career of JJ McDonough, a lot more than me, and you'll be able to tell me exactly why he's fluctuated in weight so much. But based upon the ball fight, he's a, a very game and tough customer for Chris Eubank Jr., I think. Chris Eubank Jr., we know, does better against fighters, guys who square up and come at him in predictable straight lines and what have you. When he has to go in there against the guy that has some boxing ability and can keep it long and keep him on the end of a jab, that's when he tends to struggle or even lose. Now, JJ McDonough is obviously not the level of a George Groves or a Billy Joe Saunders, but he's a big guy. And I don't know that much about him, to be honest with you. As I say, I've only seen the Jake Ball fight. Maybe there are some fights where he can box slick, you know? So I'll have a watch of some of his fights and maybe do an update 
closer to this fight actually taking place. I mean, it's not going to be long, is it? It's only at the end of the month, 28th. So yeah, uh, interesting. I don't think it's a bad opponent at all for Chris Eubank Jr. to fight for his comeback. Appears to be game. And look, I'm not saying I'm picking McDonough to win at all, but if Chris Eubank Jr. is going to fight somebody as a takeover fight or whatever, if that's what this is, you at least want to see him in there with someone game. And that's what JJ McDonough appears to be, somebody game. And the fact that he's a southpaw, some people are going to read into that and say, well, is this preparation for James DeGale later on in the year? Because James DeGale has recently come out and said that he will be fighting, well, first of all, in, I think, October, and then again in December. So, or is it, is it later on this month? I've forgotten already when James DeGale's fighting. But he's fighting in an eight rounder, so, you know, it's only going to be a takeover fight for him. And, then he says there's something big happening in December. Could it be Chris Eubank Jr.? Is that the reason Chris Eubank Jr. is taking on a southpaw here? Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this particular fight and whether or not you think it's preparation for James DeGale. Does JJ McDonough have a chance? i particularly like to hear from some of the Irish boxing fans who are more familiar with JJ McDonough. Do you think he's got a chance against Chris Eubank Jr.? Drop it all in the comment section. It's happening. I'm out.